I have a little update for the PS5 project and uh, it's not a good one, <laughs> so I don't want to tell you about it, but well, I, I guess I should, so uh, long story short, uh, we made a water block for the PlayStation, as I'm sure you saw it, um, we assembled it together onto the main motherboard and me and Joe performed some tests. Uh, well, the testing went really well. Uh, the water block was perform performing nicely. It was uh, cooling really well. But, as it turns out, the power supply was starting to overheat. Uh, well, if we didn't cool it with additional fan, the whole PlayStation would shut down after 15 to 20 minutes. So, we had to do something about it. And that's when we decided that we are gonna make the water block for the power supply. Yeah, it, I think you can see where this is going. Uh, well, we made the water block for the power supply. This is it. It's a fairly simple block. It's really not well machined, but it should do the job. Uh, this is the power supply. You just basically put this two, two, two together and screw it with screws and that's it. And that's what we did. Uh, and we assembled everything together. The water block for the main motherboard also, of course. Uh, we put everything into the PC case and, well, <laughs> as soon as we plugged in the power cord, <sighs> yeah, well, it was just white smoke. Quantum X. A moment of silence for the PlayStation. Press F. What happened was that we actually let 220 volts directly into the main motherboard, which should not happen. So, yeah, yeah, it's not working. And that really. wasn't even a massive like over voltage. That was 220 volts AC when it should have been getting 12 volts DC. So, not only the power supply but the motherboard got dead really fast. And yeah, there's, instantaneously. There's nothing left. <laughs> yeah. So. That's what killed it. <laughs> well, lessons learned, I guess. Yep, so we're not gonna end it there. We're not defeated. Here we have a new PS5. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> very different, mm -hmm. as you've been noticed, <laughs> to the original PS5. Uh, so this was an early one that we had. I think it's yeah. probably 2000. 21. Yeah, I guess it's uh, a yeah. 1000 revision. Uh, there are three revisions. So the, this is the first revision and this is the latest revision. It's 1200 revision. So we decided that we might get the latest if we're redoing the whole yeah. thing. So. I mean, we, could, we couldn't really just get another old one. You can't go to a retail and yeah. say, I specifically yeah. want two year old stock, please. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this, this is what we get now. And this is what you would get if you bought a PS5 today. Mm -hmm. In terms of what it can do, it's identical, it's just packaged much tighter together. Mm -hmm. um, so, we're gonna start all over again. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, the original block, we had lots of separate cold plates for each part, because they're also spread out. Uh, you know, like the width from the memory to the SSD to the VRM, and also on the front side, uh, SSD and the core it was all so spread out that we made it like a monoblock and we're thinking for the small one everything's much tighter together it's going to be a bit more like a graphics card yeah with the active backplate <laughs> that's the plan yeah. we're just going to use a single copper on the front single copper on the back cover it with a plexi and a metal sheet i guess we're going to see how this turns out uh but yeah that's the general idea of the yeah, the block. and we also need to come up with a different idea for the power supply. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we definitely need to do something about it. <laughs> and we'll probably join you back here later in the episode when all the parts are machined because you saw us. Yeah. You saw us last time in the first episode do everything and, yeah, and the procedure is the same. So. We'll try and do it a bit faster without filming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Right, so it's been about a month since we were last here talking about what we were gonna, what we we're gonna design, what we we're gonna make uh, for the second version. Quite a lot changed from the first version. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure you saw. Doesn't really look like a monoblock anymore. <laughs> so these are actually kind of different parts that we're gonna look at today. They're not exactly like anything we ever produced before. Yeah. So I'm quite excited to yeah. see them all. Let's dig in. Okay, this is the first part based on the weight and <laughs> dimension it's probably a copper part okay and it's the front copper plate and this goes on the the front part of the playstation so on this section here so it's positioned like this the next part is also a copper part uh, and this one is for the back side uh, it's a bit thicker since we are not going to use the plexi plexi cover on the back side since it's, it's not going to be visible so we're just going to cover it with a metal plate all the channels are inside the copper that's why it's a bit thicker for the next part this is the plexi this is the plexi part for the for the front side this section of plexi goes directly on top of the copper part and uh, it basically forms a block itself so that's going to get sandwiched like a special edition that we used to see in like our founders edition, like our Radeon edition. Yeah, exactly. And this, this is the biggest part of them all. This is the aluminum cover, the front aluminum cover. Yeah, here it is. It's uh, brushed aluminum. This part basically covers all of the PCB because in the original idea, we didn't quite like the look of the PCB that you could saw the PCB through the plexi or on, through the, on the sides. Uh, so we decided that we we're going to cover the whole thing up with the uh, aluminum plate uh, and that's that's this part here. It also holds everything together, so the plexi part screws in here from the bottom uh, and also the copper parts on a few sections and it has a few cutouts for the, for the standoffs. And this section here is for the LED light. This is a cosmetic cover which goes on here and it covers the LED light and it expresses the Quantum X logo quite nicely, I think. Uh, and then we have uh, a terminal. This is the last part. The terminal is necessary for connecting the top and bottom part uh, of the block. So yeah, with a square and a so, circle, so it's indexed. Yeah. We just need to add a uh, triangle and an X. We just need to add an X, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are all the parts. Do I have uh, the big plate? The big plate? Oh! Ooh. Oh, I forgot about it. Yeah. It's here. Sorry, I missed it. <laughs> uh, this is the big metal plate for the back side. This metal plate is screwed on onto the back uh, copper part. Forms the back plate, active back plate sort of thing. Uh, and also have a few mounting holes inside so you can mount it in whichever case you like. Uh, and this is the, yeah, this is the last part. So we went from Last, last time we effectively had like a monoblock on each side that was joined together and each one had two or three cold plates. Yeah, exactly. And this time we have a pro block on the back and a special edition block, block on the front. front. Yeah, yeah. Something, so something been, like this, yeah. It's gonna be much slimmer when they all come together because like these, these coppers are way smaller than the mm -hmm. original ones in thickness and one plexi gets replaced with the thin steel plate and hopefully it's gonna fit. As, I mean, as well as this being much smaller than the original. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. it's going to fit it's in way more places. Exactly. It was much easier on that uh, on that side. Yeah, so maybe we should... It's time uh, to start building these up. Yeah, assemble everything together. We'll get an idea of everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like it's supposed to be, well, <laughs> fingers crossed. Yay, I get the peely. Yay. What size O-ring have we got here? Two millimeter. It's extremely tight on the width and Is almost it? inside. Oh no. What's going on? <laughs> Shit, just a second. And normally there's some space next to two millimeter O-ring when you put it, when you put it in. Yeah, it's... The, groove the width is, is two millimeter wide. Oh, the width is two, oh great. The so width is two millimeter. And the depth is 
135. That's not right, right is it? So the orange tube. The orange too big and the width, but right in the depth. Yeah. That's great. Are we gonna sample <laughs> another set? <laughs> oh no! Is it, is it time? Come on! <laughs> Shit! I was looking at the same thing with this. Uh, is it gonna be on. another month before we put the PlayStation together? No, we had to figure out something. Well, maybe it's a it's a weird idea, but maybe we can 3D print the ring, you know? What, from plastic? Uh, yeah, yeah. We have some sort of plastic with a uh, flexible material in, uh, in the office. Maybe. Is it, it going to be like permeable when it's 3D printed? Will the I don't know. <laughs> just go through it? I don't know. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Well, we, we already made 3D printed O-ring for one of our CPU blocks and it How's that working? It was holding well. Yeah, well, this is a lot. Yeah, this is a lot. And I presume that had the right size grooves. I don't know. Probably. Okay. Probably. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, well. so I, I guess that's it for a little while while we go and attempt to 3D print an O-ring that I've never seen that work before. I'm, it might I'm work. not skeptical that it's going it to fit. It might work. But I'm, I'm skeptical that it's going to seal. Yeah. Well, because it's hopefully, hopefully it's going to seal. All right, let's go print. But we have to try. Well, see ya. <laughs> After the future. Quantum X. We're back. We have the O-rings and uh, now let's try and assemble everything. Let's try. I mean, we know they're going to fit fine, but we'll see when it's all together if they're going to seal fine. Yeah. This is crazy. Hopefully. <laughs> and then we don't even have to cut them now. Yeah. We can just put them straight yeah, in. Uh, this one is yours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice that they're already in shape. So the, if you can we see. made them slightly round on one side, right? Yeah. And that should Yeah, they're, fla they're flat on the bottom and round on the top. Don't tell Mitchell that you can do this. <laughs> well, it's, it's nice, isn't it's it? It's going to be so mad after Unibot. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but this time we just printed them. <laughs> eight, like eight, hundreds of shapes normally yeah, goes that's... just around one block, but here like a single O-ring goes through every single part. You'll, it, you'll see it, so... Uh, it took me two hours, yeah. Yeah. Not putting that O-ring back together again. <laughs> this uh, lighting effect. I think it's elegant. Okay, cool. Now the we're gonna have to put the thermal pads over the PCB. Everything's together, but is it sealed? 
Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. I've never seen this work. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, I mean, they didn't. Have a little bit of faith. They, Come on. they really didn't look smooth when we put them in. I'm not 100% convinced that they work, but they were squishy and they did yeah. fit nice. Yeah. The, the assembly was really easy, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's pump it up. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! It's so bad! No! I couldn't. I couldn't really leak more than that. <laughs> yeah. This is a long shot, but it might work. Try to pump it up. But how will I know if it leaks because it leaks or it leaks because you're I don't know if it's shit. Well, if it's not leaking, then it, 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 it's definitely leaking. Two fingers tighter. <laughs> fingers tighter. <laughs> tighter. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> Then the block is not sitting. Yeah, but it's holding. You see? Uh, uh. Oh. Yeah, well, uh. you're gonna have to, yeah, replace the o ring and. Uh, what about the LED strip that's messed up in the other one? And uh, we're just gonna. Standoffs that are messed up in the other one. Three hours later. To get the pressure. Under pressure. Okay, are we good? Blow it up. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah! It works! Success! <laughs> Finally. Oh. <laughs> so the 3D printed uh, O-rings worked. Nice. 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 Okay, so we're finished for today. Yep, in the next episode, we're gonna be powering this on for the first time. Hopefully, it goes better than last time. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> then we'll be putting it in a build. Yeah. And then we'll try it out and we can finally play Gran Turismo. Mm. Ooh. Ooh.